Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Amnav. In this video, we are going to talk about the problem B of code forces around 742, which is mix or mix up. So this is a very good problem. So what is given here is so first of all we will discuss the problem statement, then the logic behind it, and then we will discuss the code. So the logic behind the, this problem uh, means the problem statement is that you have to find an array of minimum possible length such that the MEX value of that array should be equal to A and the XOR of all the elements of that array should be equals to B. So this is the problem statement. So okay. So first of all we understand that what is MEX. So basically the, uh, the meaning uh, of MEX is for example, uh, 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 there is given that uh, you have to find the array whose uh, value is, whose MEX value is A. It means whose minimum uh, for a non-negative integer which is which does not belong to array uh, it means that uh, just first uh, uh, basically the mean is that the minimum uh, non-negative non positive uh, positive integer which does not belong to that array for example if we have to find the array with mex value uh, equal to a so we should have it's compulsory to have all the non-negative integers less than a in the particular array and a should not be included in the array. For example, the value of a is 5. It means that there should be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the integers that are less than 5 in that array. Then only the mx value of the array should be 5 and 5 should not be included. For example, there is no 2. Then the mx value will become 2. So it is compulsory to have 0 up to a minus 1 values in that uh, array. Okay, so if mx value is a, then we should have it's compulsory to have 0 up to a, a minus 1 values in that uh, array. Okay, fine. The next thing is the, the uh, XOR of all these elements should be equal to b. So, first of all, because it is compulsory to have these elements in array, so first of all, we will find the uh, we will find we will just find the XOR of uh, all these elements means up to from 0 to a minus 1 we will find the XOR of these elements only so if the XOR of these elements is equal to b then the on then the only size of loop is a which is 0 to a minus 1 elements okay if it is not equal to b if the XOR of these elements is not equal to b then there there uh, it's there might be a, uh, a number present whose XOR with b is equal to let's say it is x oh sorry 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 uh, basically what i am i am trying to say is let's say x is equal to 0 zor 1 zor up to a minus 1 because these are uh, compulsory to have in the array and let's say the value uh, value of x is not equal to b if it is a, x equal to b then we have to just output uh, a that's the only size of the array if it is not equal to b then what we will do is then what we will do is we will check there is a property there is a property maybe uh, you uh, you are aware of it that if x zor uh, let's say y y is the required number is equal to b if x zor y is equal to b what is y y is the another number which we have to place in this array to make their uh, zor equal to b then x zor b is equal to y this is the property of the zor so basically a number which is required here is y okay so if we put a more a y number then the zor of that uh, of that particular array will become equal to b but here is another uh, uh, another uh, uh, condition that if y which is the required number to make zor equal to b is equal equal to a then what we will do? In this case, the the array uh, the array size is a plus one. But what if y is equal equal to a? Then we cannot put uh, the value of y in that array because a should not be in the array. Then the uh, then we have to put two more. Uh, then we have to put basically two more uh, integers in that particular array. So the size of the array will become a plus two. And this is the only condition we have to check for so now i hope you understand the solution logic now i will go towards the code part so okay i will also provide a link of the code description you can check it so this is the code part you can check here 
that what uh, so okay there is also a problem which i also faced uh, it's the problem of tle many of you are getting tle so for tle what uh, i have done is i have because the constant of n here is maximum is uh, 10 to the power 5 plus 5 3 to the power 5 plus 5 so i have find it the uh, the zor of uh, all the natural number un until n before the loop of t minus minus so that i have counted it once and i will use it in in all the test cases now what i have done is i have uh, i have just find it the zor till n minus 1 if that uh, value is equal to b then i have i have just printed the value of a m and ln is equal to a and if it's not equal to b then the minimum length is depends on the required what is which uh, one more integer required if the more integer required is a then it will be plus 2 otherwise it will be plus 1 so i hope you have understand the solution what i am trying to say if uh, you like the solution please uh, like my video subscribe my channel for code forces code chef and other solutions join my telegram for uh, more contest discussions thank you for watching the video i hope you like it thank you